try to picture it, you plan the ultimate in romantic evenings for your specific spicy senorita. You've manscaped, you've lit candles, put on some mood music, possibly a little Sade, to get the evening popping. After dinner and a few glasses of wine, she's feeling a little frisky. She decides to recommend moving to the other room for a little dessert. But before she does, she decides to slip into something a bit more comfortable and seductive. Yes! You're waiting there all giddy with excitement, she comes back in the room and BANG! Oh, wow. Seriously. She's like, are you gonna sit there in your jeans or do you have something else you can put on? You're like, uh, absolutely. BANG! You put on your favorite Star Wars sleep pants and combined it with your most comfortable t-shirt that your grandma gave you. Lame loungewear is potentially killing your super sexy smooth game. If all of a sudden it gets down to risky business and you look like a super slob, that's it. Game over, you lose. But gentlemen, by the power vested in me, by this YouTube channel, that's all changing today. Now it will come as no surprise to anybody who watches my video that my number one loungewear essentials is a great fitting, solid, sexy robe. Here's the fact, robes rock, but all robes were not created equal, all right? The fit is going to be key, it's going to be king. The robe is the perfect option for keeping yourself a little modest, but it's very difficult to stay modest and hang out in just a robe, because inevitably, your testicles end up showing. Bringing us to men's loungewear essential number two, which is a sexy pair of underwear. As a dude, we've got different levels of underwear. Some underwear kind of like our bad underwear. We put them on when we're not feeling good or we ate chili. <laughs> Other underwear... <laughs> hey. Other underwear are higher end, sort of, are dressy underwear. Um, my go-to dressy underwear when I'm looking to impress my wife when I'm chilling and want to feel sexy are the brand Tanny. I have talked about Tanny underwear time and time again. There is no more luxurious. I put on my Tanny underwear for the first time. It was like the first time I put on a fitted shirt. It was so incredible. And to feel these against your body, it's, it's it's so supple, so soft, and it's really a night and day difference. Um, if you're looking for that perfect pair of chill underwear, I would definitely recommend checking out Tanny. These underwear seriously are incredible. Um, this pair specifically is called the Freeform. Notice the bottom. They actually don't have like a band, so you don't see them underneath like your tight chinos. And it's sort of like a seamless transition from skin to undergarments, and it's cutting edge and it's super cool. If you guys want to check out anything that Tanny sells along with their new collection, which is ridiculous, you can actually grab anything for 25% off if you enter the code that's listed and linked down in the description. Alright, so you got your robe, you got your good pair of underwear, but I get it, right? You're meeting somebody for the first time, you're chilling with them for the second time, you're not exactly super comfortable with them, you probably need to wear something a bit more modest. That's where Loungewear Essential 3 comes in. A great pair of sleep pants. Alright, so let's go through a few different options. Option number one, the funny, cute, something that not, don't ever wear those. They're horrible. They're not sexy. Casual with the dudes, I don't care, but when you're trying to impress El Spicy Senorita, definitely not. Go with something solid, possibly like this. I got these from Target. Um, one thing to note is the button fly. The button fly, a critical component to any sexy sleepwear pants because if you don't have it, that little fly can have a tendency to have a mind of its own. You don't want to be sitting there relaxing, kick back, all lounging, or you fall asleep, she wakes up and your penis is hanging out. I learned this the hard way. Gentlemen, flies, button, or no button at all. Um, here's another pair. These are actually from Tanny as well. These are made out of the same crazy soft unicorn breath-like fabric as the underwear, the Micro Modal Air. Um, these things, ridiculous. If you want to super treat yourself, these, not cheap though, but ridiculous. Another option, and something that has been gaining in popularity and that I actually like, the Thermal Inspired Sleep Pant. They're kind of like a thermal meets a jogger pant. They're going to be thinner through the legs, so they're actually going to be tighter. They're almost like tights, but they're crazy comfortable and they are incredibly sexy. Um, I've talked to my wife, I've talked to a few of my, her female friends, and they love these this year. Um, they're just a little bit, they're showing a little more than, than just the sleep pants because they are tighter and they're incredible 
incredibly comfortable. For loungewear pants, it's all about finding something that you love. I would recommend going with something that is solid and a beautiful fabric. It's all about the fabric and the feel. Remember, if somebody's pulling you and climbing up you like a cheetah, you want them to be able to feel the supple fabric beneath their fingers. So the robe's gone. She's torn off your pants. Now you're left with your upper body. What are you wearing? Loungewear essential number four, a great shirt or tank top. Now in terms of loungewear shirt, I like the pocket tee as a great option. It's comfortable, it fits well, and it's not too super sheer and my nipples aren't popping through. But if you're looking for something that is a bit more supple, soft, and sexy, there are definitely options out there. I know I don't actually have any, but I know that Tanny does have some of those as well. Another great option is a tank top. Now I'm going to show you what not to wear. This is a wife beater. Notice the armpits are super discolored and this is not something that is sexy and should probably actually be thrown away. Another option is something like this. It's a little bit stretchier. It's not 100% cotton. This one is... I don't know what it's made out of. Um, I got it from H&M. It was super cheap, but these hold their color very well and are some of my favorite just basic plain tank tops. And last but certainly not least, we got to talk about the feet. Loungewear essential number five is a great pair of slippers or socks. Fresh new pair of socks looks a lot better on the feet than old worn out worn socks. That is a fact. If you who want to take your loungewear to the next level, slippers. I love slippers. Are they the sexiest things in the world? No. Are they super comfortable and great to wear around the house? Absolutely. So the inspiration for this video actually came the other day when I put on this old ratty shirt. Why did I still have it? Because I'm a dude. Every dude has an old ratty shirt that he's had for 27 years. I put it on. I go downstairs to watch Netflix with my wife. She sees me and she goes, <laughs> You're not getting any. I said, what? <laughs> yes, I am. She said, no. That shirt is such a turnoff. It's ridiculous. And that was my light bulb moment. Gentlemen, thanks for watching. Lock down these five men's loungewear essentials and you will never be saying, what? Why not? Ever again.